Um, Val Osta was honored to host the Department of Labor Commissioner Mark Butler earlier, um, really the end of, of July, right after our last board meeting. Um, he was in town for several days for several activities, but we were able to host him for um, a dinner with some community leaders and then also a tour of um, Lowe's Regional Distribution Center with Jamon Williams, our Georgia Regional Coordinator. So he had a great visit, um, was able to get um, see some of our industries. Some of our media opportunities um, are listed in the summary. We are continuing um, to be a guest on the Scott James Show the Thursday be before our board meeting to discuss um, economic development activities and kind of um, what's going on at the Industrial Authority. Um, we've also participated in an interview with Business Expansion Journal, which is a magazine publication. They're doing a profile on Georgia, and Andrea was able to talk to them about business attraction and expansion activities look, um, in Valdosta. Um, we've, there are also several other press releases I've um, put at your place, one with the Community Business and Industry Partnership Workforce Development Initiative we hosted today. That will also be the feature story on Valdosta CEO tomorrow with an interview we did with their writer. Also, there's um, a press release from John Deere that Mr. Ricketts will um, provide more information on. Azalea Health um, was recognized yesterday at the Georgia Economic Development Association's annual meet, uh, monthly August meeting um, on being a small business rock star. So there were 50 nominations throughout the state uh, of small businesses, less than 50 employees, and Azalea was one of the top six recognized, um, which was a great distinct distinction for them um, and they were not they were nominated by the SBDC at BSU and in, in Myrna Ballard so we were um, able to go and, and see that recognition of them that press release and then also there was a grand opening last week at Langdale Fuel and so there the, the press release from Atlanta Gaslight is in your packet as well on that um, facility opening our annual report was posted on our website and we promoted that um, via the Bad Also Daily Times on being able to access that via our web for um, in their paper on Sunday and Wednesdays it was featured right beside the business um, in the business section on Sundays. Um, we have we have launched a new website analytic platform. This is just um, our first look at it. We started August 1st so this is just the initial setup of it of our views. This is actually has several different components to it. This is our website traffic. So this um, platform we are able to access um, a lead generator. So we are able to identify um, IP addresses which will help us track our website visits. It, how we, um, we will access it through a CRM program where we will input information of site selectors and consultants and then also um, tie that into an email marketing campaign in order for us to um, link the two addresses together. Um, that will provide us with it, more intellect into what our um, companies that are viewing our website and the information we send to site selectors so we can coordinate that and target it to the information that they're looking at. So um, this is very much, we're in the beginning stages of it. We've input the CRM. Um, the next part is our email campaign um, to the site selector so we can get their information coordinated with this um, program. Um, we will be having um, a great promise partnership presentation by uh, Mike Beatty who was previously the Commissioner of the Department of Community Affairs. He is now the Executive Director of Great Promise Partnership. They will be um, presenting um, in Valdosta on September 19th. Um, we are finalizing the, the itinerary, whether that would be a breakfast or a lunch meeting um, for them. I'm, I'm in talking to his new assistant in his new position to coordinate that because we had some transition. Um, and then also I'm in the works of planning a presentation for the Valdosta Board of Realtors on our ValdostaLoungeProspector.com site in order to give them more information on how they can access that tool um, for the sites and properties of it that we have available in Valdosta. And that concludes my report. Thank you. You're working very hard to raise our visibility and you know, we can tell it and we're hearing about it. So that's great. Thank you for that.
Meg, I have a, a question or comment, and, and you are doing, doing a great job. My, my question is, what are we doing to promote ourselves from within the authority in terms of controlling our message to folks? Are we sending out missives to the general public where we are the primary source of generation of that information, as opposed to having an intermediary like a talk show or a radio or a, uh, a newspaper or some other media outlet? I think a lot of that is going to come from us beginning this email campaign. Um, right now it's going to be directed as a recruitment and attraction for site selectors for us to identify um, that information. I understand that. Yeah. I'm talking about specifically right. directed toward our constituency. Mm -hmm. Well, a lot of what we do is, like you said, we put, we've ramped up going and doing Scott James show. Mm -hmm. We do our Facebook page. We do um, to help people and to get that information out. We also do LinkedIn. So we do a lot of social media mm -hmm. as well as talking to 92.1. We also um, communicate with the chamber and then communicate with the city. But as far as having a formal newsletter or email blast that we send out, well, we have found and what we've been asking people is that it doesn't always get read. So we will you, you think the most like, efficacious means of getting that message out there is via the social media you know. And we also do our web page, but also something we looked at how many web how many views of our annual report did we have? Um with the from the time the time frame it was in the paper around around fifty. Um, we will all we, we will be put have a section in the next chamber magazine where we will be able to put um, a whole sec whole page of economic development um, so I'm working with Heather the new communications and marketing person at the chamber um, for us to work together in order for us to co coordinate what the activities at the industrial authority okay. along with that's going the to be a regular occurrence yes I believe we'll be able to okay. continue okay. to, to do well, that. Good. That's, that's good. And then don't forget about Austin CEO. Mm -hmm. So we often have that coming out as well. Good. All right. Thank you very much.